Hi there, I am Giuseppe Corcello from Virtual Orchestration and today I'm going to review Lost Guitar by Westwood Instruments. First of all I want to thank Westwood Instruments for kindly sending us a copy of the library to review. Lost Guitar features over 100 original sound crafted from a Bariton electric guitar and shaped to get a great variety of tones and modes. It's compatible with the free contact player and supports the NKS protocol. It includes over 300 presets. It usually sells for $139. Download size is 8.67 GB. Downloads via Pulse Downloader and activates via Native Access. The library comes with just one NKI instrument. In the first page you can choose which sounds blend together in the two layers, engine and change some things of the sounds themselves, such as attack, release and tuning. You can also activate or deactivate the layers and you have a randomized tool here. Blends lets you decide how much signal to hear of layers A and B. Motion oscillates the blends between both sides, brings a ready chain of plugins inside the library. You have a few options here and you can set the amount of the effect to bring in. Process includes some effects such as ADSR, compressor, overdrive, rotator, and these work independently on the two layers. Memories is an arpeggiator and the delay engine designed especially for underscoring material, text tools, and pads. In the places window you can add some more effects to the overall sound such as ambience, noise, reverb and delay. I really suggest you to check out the videos on the Westwood's YouTube channel as well as the manual to get a complete overview of how this library works. Get Lost randomizes the whole instrument. Finally you have here several ready to play snapshots.
The Lost series is becoming more interesting uh, release by release. Lost Guitar is not a mere guitar, but uh, it includes a little world from more organic guitar sounds to a lot of processed. Uh, this is a quite versatile library, yet focusing especially on the sound design and the textural world. It features a lot of parameters to play with to shape a lot the original sound. And you can create melodies, textures, uh, rhythmic sounds, movements. The get lost function, which is basically a global randomizer, is something I love. And if you don't want or can't lose too much time shaping the perfect sound, you have at your fingertips hundreds of ready to play presets. You can still modify as you wish if you need them. So you get a very versatile and customizable engine here. It's all for today, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to support Beard Orchestration, subscribe to the channel, join our newsletter if you wish, hit the like button and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notified as soon as we release a new tutorial or a new review. If you are new to the world of the virtual orchestration and you wish to learn more about it, or even if you are a pro or semi-pro looking to improve your skills, so we offer practical lessons about virtual orchestration, mock-up programming, how to use Dorico, Sibelius, Cubase and Logic Pro. Get in touch at info at I wish you a wonderful day and see you on the next review.